Probably should go out there and work on that boy's truck, but it's too hot and I got this to work on. And I got air conditioning. So that boy can work on his own truck a little bit, I reckon. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give him that opportunity. I have to cross one thing off this list. Alright, we're done outside with the hot stuff. Now it's time to take this thing apart. Do they remember this list? I don't know. Just put that away. I'm embarrassed about how much still needs done on it. Okay, stop rubbing it in. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is pull the manifolds off. And the converters. Well, I was just thinking to myself as I was pulling out all these bolts on the manifold how nice it was and none of them broke off. As I was on bolt number, let's see. There's two... Three, four, five, six per side. I think I was on bolt number 10, but the 11th one broke off. So that's awesome. All right, numerous wires disconnected, torque converter unbolted, exhaust manifolds off, starter off. I had a heck of a time getting that one starter bolt out. I need to look in the block, make sure those threads ain't galled. Anyway, just gotta get the bell hose and bolts off and the transmission should come free. So, so far, I've identified a coil has disintegrated on the end there. Had one bad plug wire and a broke bolt in the manifold. And the transmission's off. That's a heavy rascal. All right, now to go find my engine stand. Yeah, I put it on the stand when you weren't looking. I see that. Anyway, Mrs. Heavy Chevy has informed me that it's after 6 and it's time for me to get stopped. I just got going. I know. I was fixing to pull the intake and the heads and all that. No. Alright. Another so. time. We got our time taken from us this morning. So, I guess I ought to clean up just a little. You want me to take a shower or something like that? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. She's so hard on me. Hard on you? Yeah. Huh. Anyway, huh. would you ring the bell and s signal the end of the video? Because we ain't been doing it as much as we should. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. We really do. Thanks for watching. Um, yes. We were unaffected mostly by the hurricane. Yeah. And uh, we fared okay. But we are certainly thinking and praying for the folks. It's pretty bad up there, I understand. And... Uh, Anyway, do what you can. And uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Hey guys, Mr. Heavy Shetty's neighbor here. If you could do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, share. I would really love to help Mr. Heavy Shetty's algorithm and maybe get some of these vehicles out of here. Amen. <laughs> All right. Now it's Sunday. Kind of late. I've been lazing around. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, with the goal of tearing this engine down, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe even get the cam and all out of it. We'll see. I'm going to get crack a lacking. Fun fact, <clears throat> the Makita won't touch, unless you break them loose, the 15 millimeter bolts for the accessories and the motor mounts and stuff. But the Milwaukee will, it'll break them right loose. So. That's something to think about. Now these, <clears throat> these oil pans hold eight quarts from the Caprice. I think they're the same as the G8. Anyway, they won't fit anything I got apparently. So if anybody needs one, I got two. All right, the intake's off. Look at that. Rectangle port. High performance. Right? Anyway, I remember reading something about this somewhere. Maybe you got to replace that when you're getting rid of the, uh, what do you call it, when it cuts down to four cylinders. I don't know. If somebody knows, leave a comment in the se in the comment section. Guess I'm going to have to study up on that. There's all kind of dual lollies in there. But I bet whatever I get has to plug these oil ports because evidently those are the ones 
the cylinders it deletes. Anyway, I'm going to have to study up on it. Well, there's one cylinder head off. Everything looks pretty good. No big holes in the cylinders or in the pistons or anything like that. All right, let's continue. You come up here not saying a word, looking over the top of your glasses like old granny. What, what's on your mind? Over my glasses. Yeah, you were. You were looking right over them. No, it wasn't. Um, what's on your mind? What, what are you upset about? I'm not upset what about What are you anything. perturbed about? Nothing. What would you like to see different? Um, not so much mess out the floor. Well, the problem is gravity takes effect sometimes, as you well know. Now the pan is off. Don't need that. I got to remove this oil pickup. And then pull the balancer. All right. Got time chain out. Cam plate off. Here's the cam plate. That looks perfect. I wouldn't be scared to reuse that. But I got a new one, so we'll use a new one. That cam wasn't long before being bad news. Look at that. That lobe there. And that lobe there. And that one. And that one. Yep. That's junk. Well, now it's ready to start putting a cam and oil pump. All that stuff in it. Lifters. I don't know how ambitious I feel today, but... I'm going to get the parts out anyway. Wow, look at all those parts. Holly oil pan, pickup. Timing cover and water pump, oil pan, can't remember what that is, is that the lifters, I guess so, it says lifters, cam bolts, chain dampener, cam plate, bolts, rocker, uh, what you my triggers? Oil pump, chain, push rods, I think, seals, header bolts, one Texas speed, chopper cobra, crank bolt. That's a cam, by the way, I didn't get that much in. Made in the US, how about that? Another oil pan gasket, head gaskets, trunnion upgrade, new valve springs, and head bolts. And a dipstick. Well, that ought to keep me busy for a little bit. I guess the important thing to remember here is that these LS motors are cheap and easy. That's probably in the neighborhood of $2,300 worth of stuff there, I think. Something like that. New camshaft in. Guess now I need to put the cam plate on. Well, now I'm kind of stopped. I just broke the dang time and chain guide, which is odd. I was trying to get it to 18 foot pounds, like I think the torque spec is. Anyway, it broke. So I gotta, I gotta buy one of them. Well, that kind of slows progress, doesn't it? Can't put the time and chain on. Can't put the oil pump on. I could put the lifters in. I could do that. And I could uh, change valve springs and all that, but to be perfectly candid with you, I gotta be in the right frame of mind, and I'm not today. So, maybe I'll just put the lifters in. 
I kind of got a hankering to go for a ride in my old Firebird too. So we might do that. Oh, what you doing? I'm lubing it up. That's good. Getting ready to put it in the engine. Can't get none by you. <laughs> Stop. You're so, you're so smart. <laughs> no, I'm getting ready to throw it in the trash can. Because. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to make conversation. You're not much of a conversationist at times. Well, that's just the way it is. And a well is a deep subject. You had to talk to as many people as I did during the day. You would want to keep silent also. Look how easy that was. Yep, nice. Now, <clears throat> there's oil holes in these lifters. And I just sat on my can for about 30 minutes trying to figure out if there's a right or wrong way to orient them. And best I can tell is it doesn't matter or they need to face towards the center of the engine or they might need to face back or they might need to face that way or that way. So if all four directions are the correct direction, I'm saying I'm facing them that way and it's probably right. So let me know if... I'm wrong, and my engine is going to grenade. Does it matter if you find out you're wrong? Because you already put it in that way. 89 inch pounds is what I torqued that to. I thought you just cleaned off that workbench. I did, but then I filled it back up. I see. Quite a bit. I don't know if you can hear them squawking ducks. They're excited about the clean water in their pool. We added. How do you know what they're excited about? Because they always get to squawking when I. Maybe they're mad. Maybe they want it dirty. Well, they sure make it dirty. You know, you get mad about something, you start squawking. Hey, now. And what do you do? I just keep my mouth shut. Mm-hmm. I just keep it to myself. So do you want to go for a ride in the Firebird? Sure. You want me to take you to lunch somewhere? Or to Lupper? Lupper. Lupper would be great. Where do you want to go? Mm -hmm. Probably Mexican, huh? <laughs> yeah. This gal does like her some Mexican. I don't know. I think you do, too. I offer other things at times, and you're like, eh. Eh. I like Mexican food. It's tasty. And you know what they say. What do they say? Spanish is the language of love. Hmm. So you go there just to hear them talk. Well, they don't usually talk much Spanish to me. You do to them. Yeah, the four words I know. <laughs> I think you know more than four. I put them bolts way down in there. Them cans have come in handy, haven't they? Sure have, for giving me coffee. Yeah, I brought you out four coffee cans. All right. People are probably tired of listening to this nonsense we're talking. Alright, since she came out and cracked the whip, I got the cam and lifters installed. 
Well, yeah. I saw you were sitting down. That's when I, I was working. reaching the oil hole orient, researching the oil hole orientation. And I broke the time and chain guy like an idiot. Oh, no. That's what I said. Oh, no. So I got to order up one of them. How and did you manage that? I don't know. I was torquing it to the spec and it broke. Huh. But anyway, I'm not super confident it was the right one. Because it's different. The one that was in this engine. Well, the guide popped off. Oh, dry, that's good. Drop it in the dirt. Let's see. It went on something like sole. That's the one that was in it. So that's guide on that side, and that's one to keep it tight, I guess. And the one I broke, it looks different than that. Where'd it go? Anyway, wasn't here to keep track of you. <sighs> anyway, it's different. So, but the cam's different too. There it is, right there. Look, she found it. So this is why you need to get married, people. <laughs> so if somebody can find stuff you lose. That one's different. It is different. Quite a bit different. So, anyways. No wonder if, I found it. What are you talking about? It's a wonder I found it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to go get cleaned up. And we're going to go take the Firebird for a little ride and maybe get some Lupper. 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 So, uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to shut up now.